The myth? That you stay drier if you run in the rain. Basically, it's a bit of practical advice. Run if it's raining and you won't get as wet than if you're walking. Seems to make sense to me. Common sense? Since when have the Mythbusters let that get in the way of a challenge? The idea is someone walking through the rain will get, stay in the rain longer, mm -hmm. but the rain's only falling on their head and shoulders. Whereas someone running through the rain is actually picking up rain on their entire front. So what, we just wait for the next rainy day and go for a stroll? No siree, the Mythbusters will need controlled conditions. We're going to have to be really careful about this. It's, it seems like a, a simple thing. It seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, but there are actually a lot of factors uh, to, to consider. You've got, you know, the, the velocity of the rain. You've got uh, uh, the speed that you're running. You've got all, all these different things to, to factor in there. The setup, an indoor course 100 feet long, which Adam and Jamie will walk, then run through in a downpour of homemade rain. They'll wear identical cotton coveralls, which will be weighed after each test to see how much rain they've soaked up. Now, all that means they'll have to manufacture some very precise precipitation. It's time to walk the line and find an answer to this age-old mystery. Walking. Our high-speed camera, running at a thousand frames per second, captures every single droplet. Adam and Jamie will walk the course twice, once with wind, once without. And stop. Each take is timed. Then the coveralls are okay. straight off and onto the scales. 785 grams. What was the original weight? 757. 757. Cool. So uh, 18 grams of water. And the results faithfully recorded. Now, Jamie's turn to be under the weather. Both walks clock in at around 18 seconds, and the coveralls have soaked up almost the same amount of water. But what happens when Adam and Jamie up the pace? That can't be right. 7.98, uh, significantly more. On Jamie's run, the difference isn't as great. 7.93. But the raw data is still pointing to an answer that flies in the face of science. The results aren't what I expected at all, actually. The numbers are really close. We're only talking about a matter of a dozen grams here and there. So when we average it all out, I think it's going to show that running, actually, you get wetter, strangely. What's the final result? What's the verdict? Better to walk than run. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, uh, it was very clear. Over a 100-foot course with two to three inches per hour rain delivery, uh, we got more than twice the rain per foot uh, running than we did with walking. Is this one busted? This one's busted. Fact is that it's better to walk than to run in the rain.